how are you with choices? Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to Fearless Fridays. Today is Friday, July 16th. This is episode 96 of Fearless Fridays. As always, I welcome you to the show. If it's your first time watching, if you're a return watcher, welcome, 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 welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about this idea that, about choices, about options. And, you know, I want to share that, you know, there was a time in my life where I was really, I felt really um, fearful or imprisoned or crippled by too many options. I didn't like having too many options available to me because the thought was, well, I don't know what to choose. What if I choose wrong? There's so many options. How can there only be one right choice? I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And so I would kind of be crippled in a space of indecision. I still sometimes deal with indecision, by the way. Still, still working that out. Um, that's still a journey for me. But, but being crippled by the variety of choices available to me, being crippled by the variety of options available to me, because there was a fear of choosing incorrectly and that incorrect choice completely de derailing my life. That that was the fear, um, and I think a lot of people deal with that. I think a lot of people deal with indecision or fail to make decisions or you know fail to choose because they are afraid of having so many options they are afraid of choosing incorrectly and feeling like if i if i make the wrong choice my life is over it's over for me and while i do think that there are some some there are some things that we can do some choices that we can make that will completely shift and change the trajectory of our lives i also believe um, I also believe that a variety of choices in a way can give us a level of freedom that is really, really beautiful. I think that, I think that when we're on a path and when we're working towards a vision or working towards a goal or we know that there's something that we want for our lives, I think it is wise to prepare ourselves. I think we need to surround ourselves with wisdom, surround ourselves with mentorship, surround ourselves with learning and education and, and prepare ourselves so that when we find ourselves in a position where we have so many choices available to us, we can choose wisely. And sometimes the wrong choice is glaringly apparent to us. We can look at it, we see it, and we absolutely know that ain't it. Sometimes the right choice is glaringly apparent. We look at it, we see it, we say, yep, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what I want. That's exactly what I need. That's exactly the, the direction I want to go. But most times, I think most times we find ourselves in the gray area where we have a choice that's good, but maybe it's not great. Where we have a choice that's nice, but maybe it's not right. Where we have a choice that's not exactly what we want, but it's not all bad. And so I feel like a lot of times we find ourselves in this gray area where we don't know what to choose. And I believe that if we prepare ourselves and, and surround ourselves with wisdom and glean knowledge and glean understanding and, and, and seek out people who are on the same path, who maybe are further along the line, further along the path that we're on, maybe people who have made great choices in the past, maybe people who have made not so great choices in the past, and we put ourselves in a position to glean knowledge from them and to learn from their experiences and to, and to surround ourselves with wisdom, then when we find ourselves in the space of that gray area, we are better able to choose. And so the variety of choice gives us freedom to really weigh our options. So I, and I also believe, I also believe, so that's one thing, the options give us freedom, but I also believe that I don't believe that God gives us one chance and one chance only. I believe that God is so full of grace for us. He's so full of mercy for us. He's so full of chances for us. He will give us chance after chance after chance after chance after chance. And that is not to suggest that you should live this YOLO, you know, you only live once, just fly by the seat of your pants kind of life. I don't, I don't think that's wise at all. But I do believe that if you have prepared yourself, if you have gleaned wisdom and knowledge and understanding, if you have learned what you need to learn, if, if you are progressing on the path and you have a growth mindset and you're, you're, you're steady growing and learning and you happen to veer off course slightly, God has a way in all of his mercy and all of his infinite chances that he gives us. He has a way of 
nudging us back onto the path, maybe sometimes pushing us back onto the path, maybe sometimes making it glaringly apparent that, girl, you are not on the path. You need to get back on the path. I know and I believe that God gives us so many, so many chances. And whenever we are veering to the right or to the left, he knows how to nudge us back into place. I believe that if we listen to that voice that's on the inside of us um, and heed the warnings that that voice gives us, that voice will get stronger and that voice will get louder and that voice will become more familiar to us. So that when we are in a space where maybe we're veering a little bit or maybe we're just making boldly the wrong choice, that voice is going to alert us and let us know you are not on the path. You need to get back on the path or no, nope, don't go that way. Go this way. So there's a slight course correction there. God knows how to give us course correction. God is full of infinite mercy, infinite grace, infinite chances for us. So the idea that we could make one decision that would derail our lives forever is simply, I just believe that that doesn't hold water because there are no surprises. God, God is not surprised when we make a certain choice or when we decide to go a certain direction. He is not surprised. I think for every direction we could possibly go, for every choice we could possibly make, there is an opportunity for correction. There's an opportunity to be nudged back on the path that we need to be on. And we just have to learn how to listen to that voice. We have to learn how to, how to pay attention to those nudgings and pay attention to those, um, those clues. And what's interesting is a lot of times we won't understand. I've experienced this in my own life where I'm feeling very strongly, maybe I need to leave that person alone or I need to instead of go that way, go this way. And, and, and I don't always understand that, but I think in that, in those types of situations, obedience is better than understanding. You may understand down the line. You may not understand in the moment, but staying true to that voice, honoring that voice, honoring that nudging is going to be much better for you than, well, I don't understand. So I'm still going to go the way I want to go. Um, so, you know, I, I feel like in this world, we have so many choices these days, or maybe it just looks like we have so many choices. And a lot of times people are, 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 like I said before, frozen by the fear that they will choose incorrectly. And I think if we, if we are mindful that God gives us infinite chances, if we're mindful that God knows how to nudge us back onto the path that we're meant to be on, if we're mindful that you know, we can learn and glean wisdom and glean understanding and information from other people, from other situations, from our situation, and prepare ourselves to make a choice in the midst of an abundance of choices. I think if we remember those things, then we know that we don't have to fear an abundance of choices. There's no need to fear an abundance of choices. There's no need to fear an abundance of choices. An abundance of choices gives you freedom but there's also the reality that you'll be nudged back onto the path. You'll be nudged back into the direction that you need to go on, you know? And, you know, like I said, I've, I've struggled with indecision myself and indecision is really just fear. You're really, you're being indecisive because you're afraid to make a choice. You're afraid of the options that are in front of you. You're afraid of the outcomes from the options in front of you and but what I also know and this is something that I talked about in a video before is that not making a choice is also a choice you can choose to go to the right or to the left you can choose to stand still but that's still a choice you can choose to do nothing you can say I'm not gonna do anything that's still a choice and that choice to do nothing will still affect the trajectory of your life it will still affect, it will still have an outcome. Everything will have an outcome, whether you go to the right or to the left or behind you or in front of you, or you just stand still. All of those things have an outcome. So choosing to not make a choice is still a choice. <laughs> and there's still an outcome that is attached to that choice. So I say this to you and I remind myself, don't be afraid of an abundance of choices, of, a, of an abundance of options. Don't be afraid of that. Sometimes I think that sometimes an abundance of options means that God trusts you enough to make the, to make the choice that, you're need, that you need to make. It means that you've come to this space, 
you've 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 made a bunch of right decisions up until this moment and now you can choose from all of these things and no matter which one you choose you'll be all right and i love that feeling when i feel like regardless of what you choose you're going to be fine regardless of what you choose you're going to be fine i love when i have those moments and I've, I've definitely had those moments before so that's what I want to share with you guys this week. You know, there's no need to be afraid of an abundance of options. Prepare yourself. Learn what you need to learn. Glean wisdom from those who have been on the path longer than you, who have been on the path before you. Um, commune with those who are on the path with you. And know that there are no surprises. God is not surprised when you choose one thing over the other. There's always a way to get back on the path if you veer a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left. There's always a way to get back on the path. And an abundance of choices sometimes means that you've made a bunch of right choices behind you and now you're in a space where you have all these options available to you and you just get to pick which one you want. And sometimes, you know, that's a beautiful place to be. That's a beautiful place to be. But um, there are no surprises with God. He knows the outcome of every single thing you choose. And he's not only giving you one option. God is not saying, oh, well, you missed it. That's it for you. No. If you missed it and you know you missed it, you can always say, all right, let me ask for that opportunity to come around again. Or let me pray for that opportunity to come around again. And while you're waiting for that opportunity to come around again, prepare yourself. Prepare yourself, get yourself ready, learn what you need to learn, get that wisdom up, get that faith up, get that everything up so that when that opportunity comes around again or that option or that choice comes around again, you can make a better choice than the one you made before. God gives us infinite chances. So there's freedom and an abundance of choices. So yeah, that's what I want to share with you guys this week. As always, I thank you for joining me, for watching. Uh, there are four things you can do to help me. You can share this video. You can share it from YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. You can like this video on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. You can comment on this video on YouTube or Facebook or Instagram. And you can subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Instagram. All of those things would help me. Comment, like, share, subscribe. You could do all four if you like. I would love it if you do all four. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, the euphoria of fearlessness trumps the comfort of staying safe. And uh, I hope you choose to come back next week and I'll talk to you then. Bye.